Laszlo Moholy Nagy was a Hungarian born photographer and painter. He is widely accredited for his advocacy in combining technology and industry with the arts. As a professor at the Bauhaus School, Moholy Nagy obtained much of his inspiration through constructivism. In his early life, he was a supporter of the communist dictatorship in Hungary, as well as a soldier in the Austro-Hungarian army. Moholy Nagy immigrated to the United States in 1937 after he was offered a teaching position at the new Bauhaus School in Chicago. Sadly, his life was cut short from leukemia in 1946. Still, his legacy lives on today. Many of his artworks are currently on display in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Because he was highly influenced by constructivism and a strong advocate of the integration of technology and industry into the arts, he incorporated those things into his pictures. Like this picture, for example, it seems like it's a science project or an experiment and his incorporation through technology is greatly, greatly displayed in this picture. Andre Kurtes was a Hungarian photographer that was best known for his paramount contributions to photographic composition and photo essay. Born in 1894, Kurtes's early career focused on photography that highlighted unique camera angles and styles. Most of his early work was published in French and Hungarian magazines against the better wishes of his family who outwardly expressed their disappointment in his profession. They wished him to be a stockbroker. Cortez later immigrated to the United States in 1936 to avoid the repressive German regime. In America, he rebuilt his reputation as a photographer through commissioned work in magazines until he had earned the recognition of the larger international community. This picture, for example, illustrates how he focused on angles and style. In this picture, we can see that he was trying to capture a certain angle because the photograph is taken from a higher up angle. Robert Kappa, an incredible Hungarian combat photographer, is known for his pictures throughout five different wars. Kappa was a brave man who wanted to capture war for what it really was. He didn't want to sit on the outside and capture pictures of civilians, but instead he wanted to capture the soldiers who were fighting for the civilians. He put himself in a very dangerous setting and accomplished his goal, to capture the moment. He was an action photographer during the Spanish Civil War, the Second Sino-Japanese War, World War II across Europe, the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, and the First Indochina War. His black and white pictures portray the hardships during the time of war. He took one of the most famous pictures of war when there was a soldier lying down in the ocean trying to fight for what he believed in. But it wasn't in just that one picture that Kappa was able to portray the hardships of people in war. It's funny because Cap himself didn't like war, and maybe that's why he chose to take part in being a photographer of war, to show people all the horrific things that happened on the battlefield. Imre Kinski, a Hungarian photographer, did the opposite of what Kappa did. Kinski focused more on capturing motion and speed, architecture, and the city life in general. Kinski was a very talented individual who captured everyday life in a way other people hadn't. He took pictures of buildings and he really focused on shadows. His photographs seemed to have a sepia color to them instead of all being black and white. It's so sad to think he was killed during World War II because he could have had a lot of potential to display to the world after the war. His pictures seemed to focus on the good things that were going on during the time. And it seemed like he was trying to get away from the bad. Basically, taking pictures was an escape route for him. He took pictures of people building, buildings in general, bridges, bicycles, the streets, and he took pictures of what we think made him happy. All of the interwar Hungarian photographers were able to represent the interwar period in the way that they believed it should be portrayed. Some captured the actual war while others captured what was happening socially in the cities. Shabalagar <laughs> lejay, yam tham rasonatam, sam lejay, yam lejay, 